Hey y'all, it's Margaret. And Bradley. With the 2020 pandemic in full swing, the world in lockdown mode, and work life in flux, we decided to make margaritas out of the limes we were dealt. So we bought a 1973 houseboat in Minnesota with plans to boat it down the Mississippi River to our home in New Orleans. So grab your life vest and your beverage of choice. We assure you it will be one wild ride. this bridge right here yep so we are in Vicksburg Mississippi kind of Tallulah Mound etc Louisiana over here and this bridge this is I-20 this interstate 20 goes from Atlanta Georgia through Meridian Mississippi Jackson Mississippi through my hometown or through Vicksburg Mississippi through my hometown of Monroe Louisiana where I'm originally from uh, Shreveport, Dallas, all the way into the West Coast. Um, or I guess the T-Bones and the I-10 and then the West Coast. I have crossed this bridge right here, I don't know, maybe a thousand times, at least several hundred. And every time I almost get in a wreck, rubbernecking over, trying to look down the river, want to see, oh, the Mississippi, and oh my gosh. And I get so excited about this river, and I'm always always like slowed down and stopped traffic and kind of dreamed about being down here on this side of it and so this is kind of a momentous um deal right here to be able to be on this houseboat after having driven i don't know i guess we're about 1100 miles in on our trip and i'm about to finally go under i-20 bridge that crosses vicksburg to louisiana right here um, and this, I guess this is the first like real shot of really knowing what I'm seeing and familiarity uh, to where it's, it's kind of like we're home. I mean, home is an hour that way. Uh, at least Monroe, where I'm from. Uh, we've been in New Orleans 13 years, whatever. But where I'm from is an hour that way, straight down I-20. So this is, uh, this is pretty cool. This is a pretty cool one for sure. Riding up to the bluffs and the bridge is in sight. It's probably uh, it's about a, a mile and a half in front of us. So we're coming around the corner to you. Um, if that's how y'all want to get down, otherwise, if y'all want to just walk up over the levee, I'm going to be more kind of right across from the RV park. I think I'm going to check my GPS to make sure it matches up. But when we came down, it looked like we could park right across the hill from the RV park. I'll come up and down and check it, but if you want to walk up on the levee and see a beautiful 1973 Nautiline coming down the Mississippi River from Minnesota, there you go. All right, we're probably uh, we're two miles away. We're um, probably about 15 minutes. 
All right. See you then. Go Tigers. Bye. We're pulling into Natchez, Mississippi right now, uh, or to the Louisiana side would be Vidalia, Louisiana. And my parents, uh, well first, Martin and I came down uh, prior to the trip and scouted. I flew a drone up and down the banks. I looked for all the ramps so we could bring a ramp down to transfer fuel, because we knew we needed fuel. There's no fuel services between Memphis and New Orleans. That's been highly documented. So we came down and scouted to see where can we pull the boat up, where can we park, where can we um, do fuel transfer? Okay, so we just ran the drone down the bank of the Mississippi River here in Vidalia, Mississippi. The other side's Natchez, Mississippi. And um, it actually looks like I found a spot right here with the boat launch that comes right down to the bank. And then there's a little bit of beach area right behind us I think we could go back to and tie up with a rope and stay the night. And there's actually an RV park just on the other side of the levee. So maybe we could talk my parents or someone else into bringing their RV. But at the very least, we can get gas down, fuel down to this launch, pull the boat up to one of the two sides, and refuel for the rest of our trip as we head down to New Orleans. So um, I feel pretty good about having a spot in Vidalia, Natchez, Mississippi, which this is a big gap of marinas and fuel stations from Memphis all the way down to New Orleans. So I think this is, uh, this is a good sign for us, for sure. And lo and behold, there is an RV park right on the other side of the levee where it looked to be a sand bottom and 50 yards from there is a, is a uh, boat launch. So we are hoping that that is in fact a good safe sandy bottomed area that we can pull the boat up. My parents drove over, it's about an hour and a half from Monroe. Uh, they drove over in their RV and set up at the RV park. So our parents are going to be right here to meet us, they're going to help us with fuel tomorrow. Uh, the LSU Tigers are playing their opening game against Mississippi State, so we're going to watch that game. And uh, this is just really exciting. Uh, this bridge right here, this is another one. This is Highway uh, 61 and Highway 15. This road right here, this is the, the road and the path from Monroe to Baton Rouge, or LSU, if you will. So I took this road back and forth through college all the time. It's the only way to get, or it's the main way to get from Monroe to Baton Rouge. Uh, again, I drive over this bridge. Every time look down at this river, I rubberneck, kind of look over, want to look at the river, see the river, and um, you know, wonder what it's like to be on a boat down here. And here we go once again. We're taking this uh, 1973 straight down the Mississippi River, and we're going to get to come underneath this bridge. So I'm kind of excited. This is another kind of momentous um, moment for me to to get to do this, and then have our parents here to meet and greet us. It's really exciting. Do this. Did you see mom and dad? Yeah, I see it. It's on the sports car over here. It's just ease into it. It's 25th. I think we're going to be golden right here. I mean, it's not the most beautiful path. I may have to throw some rocks down or open one up for us, but. So we're just going to have to get up in these bushes and stuff more for the... Boosh! Perfect! I'm going to get straightened out and then I'm going to pull it up. Learn how to use them. I just, uh...
to Vidalia slash Natchez, uh, Vidalia, Louisiana, Natchez, Mississippi, and we have some very, very special guests that are on board with us. Yeah, you're right. One and only Diane McCoy, Melvin McCoy, mother and uh, father to yours truly, Bradley McCoy. Alright, let's see what we got, babe. Woo! Woo, 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 woo! Thanks, fam, Mr. Gary. Oh, yeah. Today is Sunday, September 27th, 2020. Also, mine and Bradley's wedding anniversary. Six years. One of my very closest friends just asked if six years ago I would have imagined us taking a houseboat down the Mississippi River, and I about died. Never in a million years would I have imagined we would be doing this adventure. Um, just so grateful for the time to be able to do it and with my husband. And so crazy that we've been together six years married and nearly 11 years. Ponce. So Bradley and his dad are working on getting the fuel barrels taken care of and I'm gonna go hang out at their motor home and have some coffee while they do that. And then I'm making him take me to brunch because I love brunch and it's our anniversary. <laughs> well, like that, looking at it, kind of what you mentioned is, you know, if we want to roll these barrels down or how far we could siphon just from this point right here, I mean, we don't have to move the boat. That's, no. that's a lot easier not moving the boat Okay, we can pull, get the barrels up here with a rope too, with a truck. Load well, they're empty. The I can, I can carry the barrels yeah. up. So we got to do that. And then we can fuel from here. It makes it a lot easier. Water's gonna be the problem. Well, look, let me, um, water. let me go get the hoses. Uh, cause I clipped it to ten for the back of the boat, but I actually bought some hoses for this reason. So I've got a fifty-foot hose, and then I probably have about thirty feet. So that can get us eighty. So if we want, we can measure that out and see. I do want to drive down to one other ramp just to see, but if I don't have to move the boat and we can do it yeah. right here and not pull them from the truck. The other ramp is pretty rough too. Yeah. All right, well, let me go get the hoses and we'll check it out. Get for a swing, yes sir. There he goes, he's got to know. So what you're doing, all right, you're done. You're right here, you're here at me right now. Parking the boat over on, the on that and having the truck 10 feet away is, makes a lot more sense. Let's go ride and look at it real quick and we can come back to this.
Well, parents came over here to this RV resort and the houseboat is right through those trees on the other side of the bank because that's where the river is. Just take a look right here. Mississippi River, we're right here in Vidalia, Louisiana. So we're literally just a walk down this path to the houseboat. And we've been able to come over here and hang out with our parents and had a steak dinner last night and bacon and eggs this morning. Now dad and I are working on the fuel hookup and um, we'll be good to go. So this has really been a nice stop. Uh, just as good as any along the entire Mississippi River for us. So hopefully we get all the fuel and the water done right and we're ready to go for our next leg. All right, so we've got the boat over here. Uh, the hoses were gonna be too long to siphon it all the way down the hill. That was option one. Um, as of today, this right here was always option one, but we went through four options. So option two is to come down this ramp and me park off to the side of it and run the fuel from the barrels over. Interestingly enough, this is one of those you, you think's made up or something, but I've walked the bank and you see there's a bunch of tires. Maybe people are doing the same thing I'm about to do. Um, but I found all these tires, so I'm going to grab a couple of them if I can carry them. And I'm going to throw them in the water's edge to pull the houseboat over it and protect the hole. So that way I don't run over rocks and put a hole in the boat. So I'm about to grab these tires and get it going. Now I'm going to move the boat and we're going to pull it right up over here. You can see Dad's in the truck right now pulling the, pulling the truck down with the barrels. So that way we can get them close to the boat and then we'll siphon them from the barrels over to the boat. So that's the plan. We'll see what happens. Well, they found some tires to use for cushioning off the rocks for the front of this boat as we fuel. On a Sunday afternoon, here comes the tire. Hope he knows how to stop it. Alright. Okay. You I think did we're going to be good down here, but I mean, crap. If we're provided with tires. Then why not go ahead and drop them down? At least they'll mark where I want the boat to go, very least. So I'm just gonna throw them right on the water's edge. And when it comes time. Okay. Maybe if I can hit an angle. Yeah, if you can swing your back end toward the back of the truck a little, that'd work even better. What's that? If you can swing the back of your boat yeah, toward the I'm truck. Do, but I don't want to hit the rock, so okay. I may get an anchor ready. And hold it on that back side just to make sure. Okay. And then so maybe I stick my nose up this way and give it just a little bit of an angle. All right. I don't know. Looks I mean, good. This little rock shouldn't hurt anything. It's just never -uh. under the water. But this will give me a good focus to hit it on. So that's, that's my point right here, huh? Yeah, I'll watch your tires while you move the boat. About this angle? Yeah. And then I'll walk out. And you got a good rock on me. Watch. I'll walk this once. See this is kind of crap. This is the kind of crap you don't want to hit though. But once I get to this level. Rest is floating. I mean this is deep so we're floating. Yeah. Yeah, we ought to be good as long as the butt doesn't swing too far in the rock. So I'm going to keep it 43 feet a little longer than you ever picture when you're out here. But I think we'll be good. Okay. Shout out. definitely warm here today yeah welcome back to Louisiana huh? so what I did these are just 16 gauge wires I put little spade connectors um, we're not even spade but we have a clip connectors on here so they'll slide straight on to the pump this is electric fuel pump so this is what you put in a car or something that's like permanently mounted in so it's electric fuel pump 
I'll hook these up, but I'm gonna hook these wires up to the battery off the truck, slide them in here, it'll power that, it'll start sucking gas out of the drums, hopefully through the barrel, we'll see if it can push it that far, it should, and um, then it'll slowly drain the barrel out and fill the boat up. It's plan, we'll see. Well, we're not doing this in August, Margaret. Right. Going on September 27th. Special, special day for me. Why is it special? Six years ago to this day, I married the most beautiful, incredible woman I've ever known in my life. Yeah, boy, Name's Margaret McCoy now. I changed her name. Yeah, you're right. Hey, Margaret, our uh, fuel was donated to us by the Melvin McCoy and Diane McCoy Foundation. Wow. Yeah, I know, right? Thank you so much. It's running. Amazing. Which, which we knew that would work. I want to see if fuel's coming 50 feet down the line on the elbow. And yeah, we're running fuel. Everything is hooked up and running now is the ultimate test. We're going to see if we're getting fuel this far or not. Feels fuely to me. Oh, look at that. Look at that, boy. I don't know if you can see it or not, but we're getting fuel pumping. Fuel, fuel, fuel. fuel, 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 fuel. We're there, guys. We're pumping. Fuel, fuel, fuel. Now it's just 40 gallons an hour, so we got about an hour and 10 minutes. Perfect. So this is my parents' RV. The bright idea we came up with this time was to fill theirs up. They got a 50 gallon tank so we can run off their hose. We've got a hose running from here. This is my dad, Melvin McCoy. Hey, Dad. Hey. So we got a hose running from here. I just ran it all the way down the bank. We got about five hoses. Of course, our tanks are on the back of the boat. So we're running fresh water in the tanks there. We've got a pickup truck with drums siphoning gas right now as well. So we're pushing the gas in, and now we're trying to push fresh water in. So I don't know. We make it. What you think? Can we do? Are we on call for other services for people to run the Lower Mississippi? Yeah, but I don't think they can afford it. I know. I don't know. If they. I don't know if they can handle our rates right here. We got. Oh. We got Mom right here giving full support. Um, what you think about this, Mom? Well, it's a great idea. I thought. Yeah. If you need water. Oh well, we're working it. I just guarantee you, people didn't think this is what we had in mind when we were gonna. When we said we had plans. There's Margaret right there, sitting on the front. She is just tickled, because the best part of all this is today is our anniversary. Happy anniversary, Margaret. Look what, I, look what I'm doing for you, baby. I got you fresh water and a boat full of gas. I know this is, I know this is what you dreamed up six years ago. I love you. reason they say you can't do the lower Mississippi is because of all of these logistics. We're super fortunate to have family down here to be able to help us get additional fuel, get additional water to make it to New Orleans. Realistically, we probably could have done this if we had stopped in Greenville, but I mean, it's so great to be able to see family and we know we're going to be filled up here. So these are just kind of the little logistics. All right, so we just put 55 gallons in the boat. Well, it's technically 50, I left a little room. So we put 50 gallons in the boat. Uh, we're gonna siphon a little more into the boat, but then we can siphon some into here. That's how we're gonna get that drum empty. And um, I'll just strap these down up top. And we should be good to go. The boat will hold 200 gallons, that's 400 miles. We need about 275 miles out of it. So, hey, it's working. Everything's going as planned. So we just filled up with water 
in our little drinking containers. Miss Diane's driving me around, so kind. Bradley and Mr. Melvin are filling up, finishing the fuel and filling up the water tanks from their motor home, which is just so interesting how we're doing that. Uh, now we are headed to go get beer and ice. Gotta ice have run. that. Ice run. We need about a hundred bags or a hundred pounds of ice per stop, uh, just so that we can have ice for fish if Bradley catches any fish, ice for beer, ice for our cocktails, ice for our chicken and um, lunch meat and stuff like that so it stays nice and cold. And we need some more Coors Lights to help us get down this last little bit of the river. Of course, Miss Diane knows where to get the best ice and for a cheaper price. So we just pulled up to this little ice house. I think you do your own ice and we're getting it for a fraction of the cost. So we love to save money. Let's do it. Woo! Yay, ice. So we it up. We are definitely back home. <laughs> Look at that. Only in Vidalia. <laughs> yes. <laughs> we got the loot. Ready? Yeah. Look at this. I mean, ice, beer, water, we are set. Ready, guys. We got the good stuff. Woo hoo! We are fueled up. from my beautiful glow we are back down south no this is not serum this is sweat glistening um, some of my family from Texarkana family they may as well I might as well be a carom I'm inducting myself as a unofficial carom anyway mr. Chris and miss Michelle came by to give me some love so I had some hometown rep i grew up in texarkana it's been a while since i've been there but miss michelle made me made us homemade vacation granola delicious and she made us a homemade loaf of bread yes that is my nibble yes it is delicious so beyond grateful i let them know that it is our wedding anniversary as well and they pulled out the big guns with some champagne. So hopefully we will get a moment to just stop and pop some bubbly. We're fueled, we've got water, we've got ice, we've got beer, we've got drinking water. Now it's time to celebrate. Happy sixth anniversary to us.